heroes, and welcome back to the Resident Evil 4 Chainsaw demo. This is going to be me doing commentary over my gameplay on the secret hard difficulty level that randomly appears after beating the game a couple times. It's called Mad Chainsaw Mode, which makes a lot of enemies a lot more durable so they don't get stunned as easily to do melees on. It makes more enemies appear, and sometimes in locations that you wouldn't expect, and it also buffs the chainsaw boss to make him more difficult to deal with. So it's overall much, much harder. However, there was one secret that we discovered that would make this a little bit easier, a little bit of extra help, and that is a secret submachine gun that you could find in the village if you dump all of your resources, your items, your weapons, if you discard them before entering the village gates, you can find a secret ladder that will take you down to a treasure chest with a submachine gun on the inside. And once you get that, every demo playthrough after, you will now have a submachine gun to start the run with. So as I said, I am just doing commentary over this gameplay. I have already beaten this mode. It has taken several tries to try and do because it is quite different from the regular normal difficulty. It's quite mean at times, especially if you're trying it for the first time thinking like, oh, I'm pretty good at Resident Evil 4. I'll be able to handle this no problem. But no, it's it's a it's a rude awakening. It was for me. So right off the bat right here, there's supposed to be one enemy coming down these stairs, but there's three of them. So I'm trying to lure one at a time out so that I could safely get up the stairs and it's easier said than done. Sometimes it's better to just, you know what? I'm gonna tank the hit and keep going and I'll heal later and I'll be fine. But I've gotten pretty consistent at baiting the first two coming down the stairs and then rushing up past the third enemy. I don't I don't know how I kind of like got that down. It still feels like I'm getting lucky, but I, I've done it several times in a row, but then I end up dying later on because it's it's pretty rough. It's pretty rough once you get to the village because the swarms of enemies are just super abundant. Okay, so I'm collecting gunpowder here, although ultimately killing these crows to get gunpowder, uh, I don't really end up using that gunpowder to make more ammo. So, you know, feels bad, man. Feels bad. But either way, we collect some ammo here. Trying to stock up as much as possible before the village so that we are in good standing with health in good standing with ammo, resources, all that stuff. And getting hit at all before the village or using up any ammo before it is just like, well, you know, I, I hope that I have enough ammo to survive. I hope that I'm able to heal enough. This, this little house right here is kind of tricky because I'm trying to like get in and get out to get the red herb and the flash grenade without one getting hit going in the house and then two getting hit coming out because even if I can squeeze by the enemy from in the house, the other two enemies from further back can still sneak up on you and all three of them will work together to hit you. So if you're not quick enough, getting in and out of that house is rough. So I start off being a little bit stealthy, going behind the houses, collecting resources if possible. Once I go in here, I collect this box and immediately dart over to the house that has a grenade on the inside of it. Most of the time, boxes have random items on the inside, but certain ones have pretty consistent drops. So, so this one right here almost always has a hand grenade. So, or if not, almost always, always has a hand grenade. So you want the hand grenades. <laughs> and so then I haven't been hit at this point, so I consider myself pretty lucky run over to the main house so that I can go and get the shotgun and another hand grenade upstairs as well as the first aid spray that was on the little shelf right there. Run up the stairs as fast as I can. I know that there's going to be an enemy coming from that window right there and I hate that enemy so much because I don't want to waste a shotgun shell on it but I also don't want to take the chance that I'm not going to be able to stun it with my handgun because remember Mad chainsaw difficulty makes it harder to stun enemies. So might as well not take the chance that you're gonna get hit while you're grabbing the shotgun shells that are on the bed. 
I wait here for a little bit as I kick down the ladder, making sure no one comes from behind me too quickly. Trying to do as much damage as I can to these enemies around, just in case their damage is high enough that I could kill them easily later on. But, I mean, who could keep track of what enemies you've shot in a crowd of Ganados, you know? Okay, so we took our first bit of damage, which, you know, is going to happen unless you're an absolute expert at this, which I am not. I am still learning at this point, trying to complete this difficulty. Going behind here will kind of funnel a lot of the enemies to chase you from behind this house. And then I can escape and kind of have a clear path to run away. So I threw a grenade to clear the way so that I have time to pick up these items. Jump over the fence. And while those enemies that I grenaded are still recovering, I start heading to the back alley so that I can have a way to escape. Trying to do as much damage as I can to Mr. Chainsaw over here so that when I encounter him later down the line... He's taken significant damage. But the problem is you want to make sure that you're using the grenade not just on the chainsaw dude, but also on all the swarms of enemies. And I got pretty lucky to get through that group of enemies. But I guess a little bit of revenge from them to take a slice at me with that axe. Assessing the situation uh, in desperation, thinking, okay, you know what? I'm not liking how close Mr. Chainsaw Man is to me. Let me take out my submachine gun and just spray him with bullets and hope that I could do a significant chunk of damage. Even though the submachine gun is also good against crowds to kind of like stun them or get them all off of you pretty quickly, I took my chances to just be like, you know what? I'm going to hope that the DPS from the submachine gun is going to be enough for making significant difference against the chainsaw dude. Getting a little nervous at some of my ammo reserves for my other weapons. I swapped my shotgun here. Everything's getting a little bit low, so I toss my flashbang. I should have meleeed that lady over there, but I'm just like, Mr. Chainsaw Man is stunned? Let me melee him instead. Also, look how meaty he looks. He looks so meaty after like all the damage that we've done to him. These people just won't leave me alone. I I'll tell you one thing, though. Like, it has been quite a number of attempts to get to this point. Because trying to find out, like, the best pathing and, like, figuring out where to go. And if things go wrong, where do you go from there? It takes a lot of practice. <laughs> oh, my God. I can't believe that I, I dodged that. I wish I countered it with my knife, because you can parry the chainsaw with your knife for some reason. But it's cool. Just bob to the right. We're going to do like a little bit of a punch out type of action right there. I think he died. He finally died there. Okay, so this is when I start thinking like, okay, good. There is hope in sight. I might be able to win. Well... Cautiously looking at my ammo count and being like, is this amount of handgun ammo going to be enough to push me through to the end? But of course, you never know because in normal mode, you finish this relatively quickly. Like, I feel like they increase the amount of enemies that you have to defeat in order to trigger the end of the demo for mad chainsaw difficulty. So, getting a little bit nervous now, trying to conserve some ammo, doing the melee kills on the ground, threatening the durability of my knife, thinking, okay, you know what, my knife is doing pretty okay with durability. I could probably run up to a few of these guys and just take them out real quick. I just ran out of shotgun ammo, and I am left with 10 bullets. And the bell goes off, so I did it. I mean, obviously, this is me having commentary over the gameplay. I've already done it. This is in the past, but like it was stressful. <laughs> it was pretty stressful getting to this point. I'm sure that this is easy for some people, though. But the main problem is that this difficulty doesn't 
unlock fully. It is something that it comes at random. So if you fail at Mad Chainsaw, then you have to wait until the game deems you worthy to try Mad Chainsaw again. And so that was a lot of time that I spent was just starting the demo, restarting, starting the demo, restarting, waiting for Mad Chainsaw difficulty to trigger itself. And after I got so fed up and tired with it, one of the members of my community mentioned that there's a code that you could input on the on the main menu that lets you trigger Mad Chainsaw difficulty yourself. And so that's what you saw here was like after putting it down, being like, you know what? Screw this. I'm not dealing with this anymore. It's wasting my time. And then when they told me about that, I'm like, fine, I'll try again. And we entered the code and did the Mad Chainsaw difficulty and we're able to beat it in basically one shot after that. So that was challenging. If you want to try it for yourself, the code on the main menu on an Xbox controller is while you're holding left and right bumper, you push up, left, down, right on the D-pad, and then X, Y, B, A, and then A again. And after entering those codes, it will bring you to the Mad Chainsaw difficulty screen, and you'll be able to play it for yourself. So anyway, thank you guys for watching. I hope this was informative. I hope I didn't talk too much over the stressful gameplay, but I did it. I did it. Now I just got to wait for the game to come out on the 24th. So have a wonderful night, heroes, and I'll see you next transmission.